Hi guys, my name is Karthik and I am from ezraautomation.com and today we'll be talking about yet another craziness of artificial intelligence which is nothing but the introduction of Cloud Sonnet 3.5. Basically, they have released a feature called as computer use which is going to help you to perform certain action by just a command and the artificial intelligence is going to drive things for you on your computer. Basically, it is going to get the access of your computer and it is going to perform an action on the screen with the help of the artificial intelligence vision api or whatever so that is the actual uh, crux of this whole discussion but the thing about what i see this particular feature that they have introduced is uh, the way these things are coming into play is actually going to slowly taking into the automation testers job a hit as well I'm going to tell you how it is going to be hitting them a bit harder than compared to any other work because you see that they are actually using the vision API to perform certain action on the user interface which is going to be pretty much like how you do as a user and because the automation testing in user interface what we do is that we use these tools like selenium or playwright which is going to perform or mimic the action as if like a user does on the user interface and we perform an action uh, and then we get the job done that is exactly what this cloud sonnets uh, 3.5 is also going to do it for us by gaining the access of the uh, of the computer and not only just the browser that you can automate but you can also automate anything for instance the power automate from uh, microsoft which is basically to automate the workflow uh, of the users can now be automated just with this cloud so imagine that you have got a big email you wanted to uh, summarize that email or maybe you need to take an action based on that particular email you can do everything from this cloud sonnet much much easier but before we get too deep into this computer access of the cloud sonnet i also talked something about the large action model some months before which is part of the rabbit they introduced this what is called as their large action model which is mainly uh, works like a, a way to interact with the user interface by understanding the user interface and then performing certain action on the user interface i know the rabbit itself was not great because it just got failed very abruptly uh, by quite a lot of different comments and reviews by uh, by MKBST for matter uh, and then this company is really not up uh, doing great at the moment but at least we know how this large action model actually works and i also told you that using this large action model we can actually i mean it can actually do the user automation testing uh, much much easier because it does the user action by just with a command and now with the cloud sonnet they have gone a level further where they can perform certain action on the on the user interface by just giving the computer access for instance you can see that please fill out the vendor request form for an ant equipment co you can see that once you give this particular command then the uh, cloud sonnet is going to go and it's first of all getting the situation uh, like situated a uh, form and then it's taking a screenshot and then it is going to the vendor portal or the vendor search portal and then it is searching for the uh, the company and then you can see that every single action is being recorded here so that is amazing because you can see that it is doing a clicking like a mouse movement and then taking a screenshot it analyzing that particular screenshot and then it is grabbing those information out from the screenshot and then it's filling up the form on the uh, on the website uh, over there so you can see that all these operations are happening because it could able to perform this action with the help of the vision api and stuff so yeah this is another way that we can see that uh, the artificial intelligence uh, is going very crazy with generative ai and it is keep on improving itself to perform certain action which was not something we could have done uh, before uh, at least like two years before so that's it guys that's about this uh, this new feature of the uh, artificial intelligence cloud 3.5 uh, upgraded version well, if you want to really use this particular feature, you actually need to get the API access of Cloud 3.5. Uh, you need to do a sub payment for that. So once you do the payment and once you get the API access, you can try to see how this actually works. I am going to be working on this API quite sooner. I'll let you know how things go. I'll also create a video on the exact same thing, like how it does some automation testing for us. Thank you so much for watching this video. 
Catch you in the next one.